go. So this morning we were called out to a residence on Rockford Avenue for a death investigation where we learned that a man in his 60s or 70s died from apparent natural causes. And during the initial stages of the investigation, our officers located what they believed to be numerous types of possible military explosives inside the house. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the number one safety concern is to make sure everybody's out of the house and call out our bomb squad. So our officers from the countywide bomb squad came out and take a closer look at these devices. And they believe that they were military type um, devices. So we had to call out the experts from Travis Air Force Base who deals with these type of devices. And their experts were here throughout the afternoon looking at these devices. And since there's so many of them, they actually had to leave here this evening. And they'll be back tomorrow morning with more personnel because since there's so many of these devices, they have to look to see if they're live and which ones that they can move out um, safely. And that takes a lot of time. So with that, we had to evacuate approximately 20 homes in the area. And right now this area is shut down, it's cordoned off with officers. And the Red Cross was called in to assist us and they opened up an evacuation center at the Rude Community Center. And that's where we're encouraging people if they don't have family and friends that they can go stay with tonight, to definitely go out there and meet with the Red Cross so that they have a safe place to be there'll be food and shelter out there for them. Because with these type of investigations, what I was just told by members from our bomb squad, this is gonna go all throughout tonight and into tomorrow. Just because you have to slow down these type of investigations, they're very extensive investigations, just because of the devices that they've located inside the home.